What does that mean? We have to wash it out. Yeah, just wipe it on your clothes. Your hands are still dirty. Let me see again. I thought my hand sanitizer would work. Nope, hand sanitizer don't work. Because wow. you got to put it on there for it to work. Hey, y'all, it's Slippy. I have a helper. I don't know about y'all, but it's fall break. We have three of them, okay? Well, the little one, most of you know, Mr. Mo, he's in the garden helping. We was able to get a truckload of dirt and a trailer load. So since Saturday, we've been shoveling dirt. We've been planting. But right now, we're going to plant some beets. Okay, and I'm going to use one bed, and I'm going to use two different uh, companies. We're going to do a survival Detroit beet, because my family loves beets. But I'm only going to do one bed, because we got to see how far this, this dirt's going to, you know, run us we're gonna do the burpee detroits okay but all i did was get this bed filled and i said you know what i need to do a video and i need to bring y'all along because in louisiana i might should wait two weeks but my gut says do it now I pulled them a little early if i feel it's just too cold and i doubt it will be i mean all i'm going to get is smaller beets because i'm not worried too much about the greenery. I'm not trying to get girth on the greens. I've planted enough greens. What I'm trying to do is get this root because my kids, and I call them all my kids, eat beets daily. So, like me? just like you. <laughs> so I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to show you the bed that I'm going to work with, show you the soil that we got. Some may be new, and I'll tell you the mixture. We actually have this blended for me it's it's a recipe that they blend for us and then we go and pick it up and then you might even see my little helper mm -hmm. he's in the truck yeah. we have to keep the dirt in the beds though not outside the beds right yeah yeah because then, yeah, then worms would get mushed up yeah, all... okay here's the bed i'm working with i'm going to use the center line to separate uh, the two different brands. But now this soil here, this is a mixture of mushroom compost and it's, uh, let's see, 60% and it's 40% white sand. Can you see the, the sand in here? And this, and this gives me a great loomy soil. Now under this bed, let's see, I started this in February or March. So under this bed is a lot of compost that has broke down, a lot of leaves, show, limbs, show. sticks, show cardboard. More. All of that has had a chance to really break down. I, I want to show them what it is, like actually. Someone wants to show you something, y'all. So the stuff that Mama was just talking about is this old hard stuff. And it's out of the dirt right now, and it came from the back of this trailer. It came in the back of that trailer, yes. Yeah. And then, it, then Mom was using all of that in these beds. Then she's pulling that mulch uh, over there in the beds. Correct. Then she's, uh, then she's pulling garden seeds in here so she can grow uh fruits vegetables everything that's correct that ever that and she mails uh stuff also i mail stuff also to people yeah yeah because <laughs> we share yeah all right so we're gonna uh i'm gonna show you what i do to amend the soil tell them we'll be right back we'll be right back this is the good stuff that I'm showing our friends. And I'm hoping they can see this. Mama, I want to look. Can you uh, hand me the bucket so I can see? That's rabbit poo-poo. Oh, why? Because I'm going to use that. Okay, guys. Y'all know I'm a fan of Dr. Earth. But now I don't always use this ratio of 463. But remember at the beginning... I'm trying to go less nitrogen. 
I'm trying to bring up my P and my K, mainly my P. That is what's going to give these a good start. If I was to pile in nitrogen, it could e easily burn as the seeds start to germinate because of the heat. Now, in this bed, beets usually have to have six to seven hours, not six to eight, but the six to seven hour sweet spot for direct sun. With the temps that we are getting, or should I say the heat rays, I'm gonna try something different. This bed gets four hours of direct sun. So does one to the left and so does the one to the right. So I'm gonna test this. Now I do have beets in the house, but I wanna test and see with the sun rays that we're getting, if four hours is gonna be enough, and I believe it will. I think if I was to go to six, seven plus hours of sunlight, um, I don't think my beets would make it. So all I'm gonna do is pour a big handful of this throughout. Okay, as you can see, I've pretty much covered the top. Now, we're gonna come in with, what is this, Grayson? Chip, I mean rabbit poo. Rabbit poo. But we're just going to work and work and work this in, aren't we? Yeah. That's all we're gonna do. We, Mama's working as hard uh, as she can on all of this gardening and Papa is also working these beds. Uh, so Mama can make our stuff. So Mama and Papa are working hard yes. in these beds so we can grow food yes. and can, huh? Yeah. That's what you call making stuff? Yeah. Mama makes a lot of stuff, don't she? Yeah. And you like to eat it? Yeah. I like to eat corn on the cob and all <laughs> A lot of stuff. Yeah. And I and you, and you know what I like the most? What do you like the most? Come on, you have to know fruit. Fruit, that's right. I should have remembered that. You just had like three pounds today. Okay. As you can see, you didn't see me going deep. Okay? I didn't want to do that. I wanted to just blend the top surface so when I water this in, it will slowly wick down. If I would have went too deep in this, because it's such new soil, and I don't think everything has broke down at the bottom, I'm afraid it had just found its way to the very bottom because there is crevices and cracks and holes from the original compost. It hasn't packed. So by me basically fertilizing as a top dress, I'm gonna be able to water it and it can slowly chickens, wick down. On your All I'm gonna use is this permanent magic marker. And I'm gonna plant these very close. You can actually get away with really keeping the beets closer together because the roots won't come together. They'll actually force their self to separate and they will make their own space. It's amazing. You know, years ago they would say space at least two to three inches. Well, that's actually not true. Beets are a great companion plant for any root crop. If I wanted to, I could put beets in with carrots, beets in with radishes, any root, root crop. They do great. So with this, I'm just gonna start making me some lines very close together. Now guys, I don't know how much filming I'm gonna get by with this week. I'm gonna do my very best. Because my birthday's coming up. Yes, most birthday is coming up. He's going to be five years old. Yep. But uh, I, I wear many hats when the grandkids are on vacay with us. So I'm going to do my best to stay on track with the videos, but I'm just not going to promise. Hey, hey y'all, Mo wanted to show y'all something. Okay, so do you see this right here? This kind of looks like poo, but it's not. It's clay. Correct. But now it looks like more poo. But as we, as 
that stuff that Mama was using earlier. This is the same stuff. Well, we're going to take that away. Okay. Then this is more clay. Correct. It, it looks like more food, but if you just break it apart, break it apart, then you touch it. Then it, it turns into what we just put in the beds, huh? Yes. Yes. It's, it's all wet in the inside, but it's not poop. Okay. That's why it's clay. Clay holds water, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you what else you can do with it. Okay. So, can so, you show them in a minute why I can get these seeds in the holes? Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, y'all. Oh. We got acorns hitting us. Wind's blowing. This is the uh, survival seeds. Now, these were gifted to me, and I want to say Miss Wanda gifted them. Someone gifted them. I've never used their seeds, but we're going to give it a try. They're going to the right side of the bed. Now, here is the seeds that's been soaking for 24 hours. There wasn't that many in this package, but there's a quite a bit in the burpee. There's your papa. The papa's here. Papa! We got it watered in, and I will water this every three days. They like to be moistened. But can you see where that sand is starting to come up? This has been the best blend we've mixed. Oh, this is going on the third year I guess skipping Kentucky so two years if you skip last year and we love the mix now I'm gonna show you what we have growing so far I'm gonna try to stay out of the Sun but y'all have seen this already I have the aloe veras in this bed as well as in the back bed it's just in this corner they are doing amazing if y'all remember how small they was they're going crazy here is my butterfly tree that Mr. Danny got Wanda and I back in, I believe it was March. Well, Buddy found one here for me and we looked and looked. And I think it's gonna outgrow that one. That one got real spindly, um, but we had a lot of heat. I had to really work with this one to keep her alive, but this one's doing great. But in this bed, I don't have anything planted here, but I have my celery. So I'm digging through my seeds because I don't want to leave an empty spot. Here is the onion chives I got from uh, Wanda when I went last month. Well, the month of September, I believe. Yeah, in September. And they're doing great. I did go ahead and trim them. They did start flowering. And if we look closely, there's a loquat, y'all. Look at that. And if I span, here's one, here's one, and there's one over here. So I will be digging them up. Here's the Brussels sprouts. I have some room on this end. I don't know if you can see for the sun. But that's all that I had started. It was just a cell of six. And they got up pretty good. In this bed is the cabbage. Y'all remember me telling y'all, I believe it was in the live, something was eating my cabbage. Let me zoom in. Y'all see that? That wasn't happening. Now, with these beds, we can tunnel them with some noodles and just drape some clear pr plastic if we have to. I'm going to try to avoid it. But I have seen... It looked like little white flies, to be honest, coming up from the dirt. But since I started putting my powder out, I've not seen any new bites. And this is what I put on them. The Captain Jack Dead Bug. It's similar to Seven Dust. And it seems to be doing pretty good. But I do keep it on the soil as well as the plant leaves. Because if it is white flies or a gnat is because I'm seeing them swarm. It's because they're hatching in this dirt. So far, like I said, I think I've pretty much eradicated them. Now, there is my carrots. Next Saturday, 
I will uncover. But what I do is I actually water the top of the cardboard because it has little gaps in it. And we're gonna see. One side is the Karata. This side is the short and sweet. So we're gonna see who outdoes who. I've got my Georgia collards here. I've got my broadleaf mustard here. Tender mustard is here, and I love a tender mustard green. This is a seven top turnip. And I, and I split this bed. We have purple top turnip on the left. We have Hoss Tool purple top turnip on the right. And here I have some radishes. We have a champion on the left and cherry bells on the right. We was able to get these two beds completely full, but I'm just gonna span, and I want y'all to see how many we have left to fill. And when I stop here, there's a bed, the herb bed set on the other side. He's got six more of these boxes to plant on the other side, and we're gonna have Two more rows of six coming down the center with the loquat dividing them. And then if you go from the corner of this where that broom is, it come down to about right here will be four more boxes and we're gonna make like an L. And this is what I decided to do with my planters. Now I just gotta get my tarp out, tarp all of this, and then lay bricks down so that's the only thing I could do, and I think it's gonna be just fine like this. Oh, y'all remember when I said I need to do, I had a lot of I need to do's. I was able to get my bench painted, and I was able to get my table painted, because that actually is gonna stay in the garden. But I think they turned out amazing. And then I'm gonna get some colored pillows for it for next spring. Because, y'all, I need somewhere to sit down and have coffee. And let's go ahead and look at the loquat since we're out here. Might as well. Look at them babies. Look at that. They are growing. I'm zooming in so y'all can see. Look at that. And there's the beauty right here. Absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I kicked the tripod. I come to sit down. I think an ant got me. It, my foot's itching. But I'm going to try to do my best, y'all, to put some videos out this week. But we're also, or I'm also going to enjoy the day the days having fall break with the grands and Papa will have them in the evenings. And Mo is shooing the, the chickens. Hey Mo, would you like to come tell our friends, uh, see you later? <laughs> He's shooing chickens. Where was I? Oh yeah, me and Mo may try to get in the kitchen tomorrow. We shall see. He keeps Mama busy. But this was the little garden tour. Not a lot, but I told y'all, we're going to show y'all every step that we do. And I see boxes getting filled more and more. So next spring, uh, we should rock it out. And don't forget, we're getting a, by the grace of God, if it's in his will, we'll have a cover on this thing. But I'm real curious to see how my beets turn out. I'm real curious because, like I said, my peppers and my squash performed, you remember, in the summer, done amazing for what few we had in the shade and what was in the sun. So, there's something to be said about that. All right, I got to edit this video. I got to get me a cup of coffee, and then I got to start on supper. Mm -hmm. He requested corn on the cob, uh, chicken fingers which is nothing more than slicing a skinless chicken breast and frying it up. Mashed potatoes and gravy and fried okra. And I got to pull that off. And I'm dog tired.
So, I will just see y'all on the next one. And as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. See y'all on the next one. I gotta go work.